This is your boy, Mr. G, and you're on a journey with me to the road to freedom. And here we are, riding a nice congested highway in southern New Jersey. And I'm going to bring up uh, a topic that is a fun one for me, and that is who were the the television slash movie um, icons of your day and age um, that influenced you or they were there but you never quite cared about them but maybe people around you were influenced and you thought the whole thing was nonsense you know were you a James Dean guy um, were you digging it when Elvis Presley was riding around on a foreign bike in leather um, so you know I did talk about Evil Knievel in my very first episode but uh, some of the bigger icons later in life when I was getting close to actually being able to legally drive which consequently never happened um, I wasn't able to legally drive for you know decades after the fact but that's another episode for another time. Woohoo! Let's do it, folks! Woo! Um, this car is awesome. So, I hate paddle shifters, by the way. So, fast lane, speed lane, let's do it! Woo! So, for me, um, I, I think it's significant because these, these names I'm about to drop were just absolutely nothing like today's stars. The tough guys back then were, act, were like were actual men, not supermodels who shaved all the hair off their body and got paint brushed for photo shoots. Um, so mine would have been like, for example, Smokey and the Bandit, right? Burt Reynolds. Um, this dude who was like, you know, he was it. He was what all chicks were into. And he was like just a dude he, you know hairy chest average uh, physique for his day and age not particularly big biceps and yet this is what like you know men were laughing at because they felt like they had something in common with him when they're watching things like Cannonball Run and Smokey and the Bandit um you know, mustache and beard. Uh, and what did he want to do? He he wanted to drive like a maniac. Um, show off for his girl, Sally Fields at the time. Smoking the Bandit, Sally Fields. Mmm, tasty. So, you know, another one that I can think of that, uh, that they kind of mock motorcycle gangs in is... Uh, Clint Eastwood, any which way but loose, and any which way you can, you know, and it's just a dude that just likes to go fishing, drives a beat up pickup truck, um, you know, he's picking on the, uh, the Black Widows, I think it is, the motorcycle gang, and, uh, he was just a dude, you know, he, he wasn't, uh, some type of outrageous um, cloning of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like maybe Arnold was the beginning. I, I guess so. Sylvester Stallone uh, roiding himself up was probably the beginning of that. Trying to be like Arnold. But, you know, I never thought that, that uh, Arnold was a thing. Because I wasn't... I was, he didn't... Nothing about his movies connected to the men that I saw in my life every day. Um, but Burt Reynolds was like, like my older brothers were like Burt Reynolds. They shared his sense of humor. You know, uh, my one, uh, my brother Lenny drove a 68 Camaro, um, that, you know, he had, um, tweaked and was just an absolutely outrageous monsters car, big fat tires in the back, skinny ones in the fronts. So it's more of a drag strip car and, uh, absolutely um you know was 
he was kind of the embodiment at that day and age in his youth. Of, he was like an actual Burt, you know, Burt Reynolds, Smokey, and the Bandit. Um, so who, who, who was it for you? How significant were, were they for you? For me, they painted an environment in the late 70s that bled into the 80s that I was all in. I was like, yeah, I want to get a Firebird Trans Am when I grow up and drive it six billion miles per hour and be chased down um, by the authorities and I want uh, a big truck uh, that's trying to haul through the country as I served as the decoy like like I that was me man I was totally down with Smokey and the Bandit and it does of course it helped that Jackie Gleason was probably one of the funniest men on the planet at the time so that's your episode for the road to glory hit me up let me know what you think yeah smoking the bandit cannonball run that was my jam road to freedom like share and subscribe this your boy mr g find me on instagram find me on facebook peace